get from the chief. What's this? A couple of snoopers to be taken care of. Lock the door. This is Grant Street. Where's the warehouse? Six blocks down, on the left side of the street. Hey, Dolan. Run this truck in the shed and bring in the red one. We'll load these cases of explosives. Why don't you try doing some work yourself sometime? Get going. There'll be another box aboard that red truck. Go on, get over there, Irish. Irish. You dirty mug, turn the girl loose or I'll... The girl will be taken care of. Open up. That's the police. The police. Open up. did you a good turn last night out of the Grant Street warehouse. Ah, sure, he was just trying to get on me good side so I'd lay off trying to run him down. Boss, if I got a story. What is it? A new angle on the big fire last night. You mean the one down at the Crawford warehouse? Yeah, I went down to the ruins trying to get a story from Crawford. Any luck? No, he wouldn't talk to me, but he talked to this guy plenty, his watchman. Jasper Vale, sentenced for arson, paroled six months ago. You mean he was the watchman at the warehouse that burned? That's right. I recognize him and dug his picture out of the morgue. Parole to Officer Russell Spencer. A case. Get me Russell Spencer down at the parole office, please. Yes, sir. Lowry, I think you've got something here. Crawford has had three fires in the last six months. Just the length of time this fellow Bale's been out of the pen. Mr. Reed calling Russell Spencer. Just a minute. Yes, Case. I have Mr. Spencer for you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, Mr. Spencer. This is Britt Reed of the Sentinel. I'm trying to locate a man by the name of Jasper Vale. Oh, he did. Thank you. He just left Spencer's office to go to Crawford's home. He's still working for Crawford. Holy crow, we'll nab him at Crawford's house and bring him here. Oh, wait a minute. You get over there, and when he leaves, trail him. Okay, right. This is Crawford talking. Listen, Crogan, I just had a call from Harrington, the adjuster. He says they're holding up payment of the claim. That claim is airtight, Crawford. If you did what I told you to do, we have nothing to worry about. They must have some reason for holding up the payment. They may have found something. Listen, Crawford, your job is to collect that insurance. See that you do it. What's that? Of course we're going to pull off the job tonight. Crawford will make more money on this deal than he ever made in his life, and he's squawking, eh? He's afraid some of that merchandise may have been discovered. Huh. How could it be discovered? That stuff's on its way to Europe. Those foreign agents sure work fast. Hi, Vale. Hi, Colin. 
Change, you have any trouble down there at the parole office? What's this, Sage? I told Spice I'm still working with Crawford. Looks like everything's here. Yeah, it's all here, all ready to roll. Gasoline, excelsior, waste. It's all there. Yep. It's all set. Now, you better get going. The boys left the warehouse almost cleaned out by the time you get there. Hey, how's about a lantern? You know, I always work with a lantern. Wait a minute. I've got one in there. We'll see you down the warehouse. Okay. I'll lock up. That's Vail in that truck. Where's he going? To some warehouse. But Dolan and that other truck, Taruka, had that truck loaded with something, and I'm betting it's dynamite. Come on, we better follow it. Uh the alibi. We were oh. chasing the truck. It's loaded with dynamite. Uh, yeah? Well, what are you loaded with? Now, look, officer. My name is Axford. Michael Axford. I used to be on the force myself. Well, well, well. That's a funny thing. I used to be in the pickle business. But that doesn't give me the right to run around in a vinegar barrel. What's right. your license? You believe that Crawford is a party to the conspiracy? Undoubtedly. He fires an honest watchman to hire Vale, a paroled convict. Then come a series of fires, covered by insurance on merchandise that have been removed previously from the warehouse. If Axford and Lowry are right, those crooks are going to pull off something big tonight. <laughs> the Green Hornet's going to find out where Vale delivered that truckload of explosives. Then we are riding to... To Crawford's home, 1762 Oakdale. I think that gentleman can be induced to give the Green Hornet some valuable information. Pull that thing off tonight. Will you get this through your head, Crawford? Nobody will know you're connected with this deal. When we took over control of the Continental Warehouse, I had everything made out in Bordine's name. You've got his bill of sale to you, haven't you? Yes, I got it right here. But that isn't the thing. Wait here. All right, Krogan. I'll put this bill of sale in the safe tonight, then I'll see you. Hold it, Crawford. I'll take that bill of sale. Who are you and what do you want? Green Hornet. Yes, the Green Hornet, Crawford. And you know I don't stand for any foolishness. Hand it over. So, Mr. Bordine has taken over controlling interest in the Continental Warehouse and secretly given you a bill of sale. What business is that of yours? Plenty. I've got several things to settle with Mr. Bordine. What are you going to do with that? Keep it. What for? For my information, I'm cutting myself in. Cutting in? On what? On your arson racket. You're parking up the wrong tree. I'm not mixed up in any arson racket. That being the case, you won't mind my calling the police. The police? What for? Because you'll either cut me in or I'll expose your racket. You wouldn't dare call the police. You're just as big a racketeer as any of us. Then you admit you are a racketeer. I don't admit anything. It's up to you. A 
Operator, get me the police. Wait. Don't call the police. I'll cut you in. Now you're talking sense. What warehouse is Dale firing tonight? The one on Locust Street and Edge Hill Road. That's all I wanted to know. Send the police quickly. 1762 Oakdale Avenue. Warehouse at Locust and Edgel. Step on it, Cato. We may be too late now. How soon will they be back? As soon as he establishes an alibi. Flashlight. You stand by in case I signal. Yes, sir. Well, that's the last of us. Good. Take it away, Jack. You fellas go to the truck. That sure was a big job. Sixteen truckloads of stuff. Yeah. Down to the car and beat it. Yeah, wait a minute. What about Al? He's inside. I'm leaving him here till Vale gets back. I want him to take a last look around and see that everything's all right. I get it. Ablaze, Locust Street, Nedge Hill Road. Yeah. 